Far from Earth, in the vast void of space, the transport freighter uh, Kagito Ergo Sum slowly makes its way home. Aboard of this tiny vessel, a new form of life is born. Alas, as a series of incidents put the safety and well-being of the ship's crew in jeopardy, this autonomous support unit, but recently built by a uh, by the engineer Kato, must work together with its creators to ensure all is not lost. Yeah. So this is one of the ones that I played it during the demo. So I didn't get to play the entire chapter. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to this one. Because I enjoyed this one. Space dock TSQ-5, record of departure. Oh, I have to hit next. Registration, Car Kagido Ergo Sum. Class, civilian transport freighter. Destination, Earth. Cargo, xenobiological specimen. Crew, five. Passengers, one. Courier, military. Cargo manifest. Primary cargo. Xenobiological specimen. Description, giant quadruped. Habitat unknown, capabilities unknown. Orders from command concerning specimen are as follows. Detailed study of specimen is of highest priority. All necessary measures should be taken to ensure delivery. Escort is mandated. Distant Future, The Mechanical Heart. Should do it. Huh? That's odd. Very odd indeed. I'm certain I did everything right. Huh? It, it worked. It worked. Oops. Wonderful! Hello there, little one. Can you hear me? My name is Kato. K-A-T-O. Kato, it's a pleasure to meet you. I... Uh, right, of course. You need a name. Let's see. Well, you're quite round. Roundy? Mm. That's terrible. Hardly fit for a dog. Yes, well, 
You may be round, but mankind's strength is our sense of humor. Cube! <clears throat> That's impressively worse. <laughs> Naming was never my forte. What have you had That's to name? Inspiration will strike as we walk. Come along, little one. Kitchen unit. A variety of dishes and utensils are soaking in a solution in the in the sink. Somnopathic wellness bed. The memory foam not only conforms to the occupant's body, but also uses electrical pulses to stimulate their muscles while sleeping and help maintain physical fitness. Personal computer. Schematic titled Support Unit Version 3 is currently displayed on the screen. Hologram photo frame. A smiling elderly couple stand on either side of a young boy holding a toy spaceship. Probably his parents. And there's the toy robot. No. He had a spaceship. Never mind. A mint condition vintage steel titan. Nice. Good, good. Follow me. The first thing we need to do is register you as a crew member. Otherwise, you won't be free to move about the ship. Careful now. You mustn't fiddle with things you don't understand. Oh, right. Right then. Mm. Ah, yes. Greetings, Kato. I hope this morning finds you well. Top of the morning to you too. I'd like to enter a new crew member into the system. Understood. Scanning new crewmate. Scan complete. Classification, Autonomous Support. Please state designation. We'll, we'll say cube. I know I made up, I made up names in, uh, some names in the, um, no, this one. Because it was the only other one I played. Uh, I changed his name to Round One. Because he's a round one. Anyway, I'm just going to stick with the, uh, default names for this playthrough. And with that, you should be able to come and go as you like. Oh, and whatever you do, don't forget your name. Access to private quarters is subject to some perfunctory <coughs> security restrictions. To enter, you may need to input your name. So, if you're ever having trouble, that's one thing you can try. To do so, access the panel to the left of the door. Do you understand? Or would you like me to repeat myself? No, I understand. Then the next order of business, little one, is a test of your analytical skills. I'm going to leave this room and head to another area on this floor. I want you to try and find me. to review the ship's map, right.
All right, so we need to go find him. There he is. Good. You made it. Now it's time for you to meet your fellow crew members. Through this door, you'll find the cryogenic stasis pods. We use them to put humans into cold sleep to preserve resources during long trips into space. Little one, I have a very important job for you. I want you to head inside and wake up your new friends. You can do it. One, operational, unit two, operational. I think they're all just operational. Kirk Wells. Helmsman. Well, would you look at that? There we go. CC's unit hums softly. Information concerning the registered occupant is displayed on a nearby console. Screen, not console. Rachel Klein. Signaler. A single button flashes on the console. What is this? Let's wake up her or him. Huey Trumbull. Chief mate, head of cargo. A single button flashes on the console. just doesn't want to wake up. Cryogenic stasis unit hums softly. Information concerning the registered occupant is displayed on a nearby screen. Reserve unit. A single button flash flashes on the console. Thank you, little one. I appreciate the help. Good morning, my friends. Finished your pet project? Indeed. They have even taken a name for themselves. Cube. Hello, my name is Rachel. Looking forward to working with you. Nice to meet you, buddy. Name's Kirk. And shine, Huey. We've been on ice long enough. Show us what you've got. Mind giving Sleeping Beauty here a swift kick to get him up and moving? Can I do that? <sighs> Gawk. You dingus. I'll thank you again for not kicking a blissfully sleeping man's pillow. I'm sure we had this conversation before. What the? What is that thing? Easy 
there, Huey. We're still coming out of cryo. As for the new addition, Sabak Kato's been working on forever. Huh? Oh, bot. Kato's bot. Right. That project of his. He got it up and running. <clears throat> Hello there. I'm Huey. Corporal Darth. Feeling well rested? Hardly. If anyone actually feels better coming out of cryo, I've yet to meet them. Guess what, Corporal? Cardo finally finished the bot he was working on. Let's introduce you. <laughs> Never mind that. Let's dispense with the formalities. Tell me, though. Do you intend to let your clank have the run of the ship? If so, then I expect you to see that it does not get underfoot, and to discipline it if it does. If there is nothing else, then I will go on ahead to the recreation room and prepare for the briefing. It's a military man for you. All business. Real piece of work, huh? Yep. Right, of course. The customary briefing after waking the crew. You should join us in the recreation room, too. Don't worry about the corporal. He'll warm to you in due time. Will he, though? <laughs> it's as if you actually see it as one of us. But I suppose that's just your way. Oh. Do you think so? Let's go exploring a little bit. Let's see what's in here. Elevator. We don't need to be in there. There we go. There you are, cube. Coffee machine sits atop the counter. Expectant. Careful now. You mustn't fiddle with things you don't understand. Well, would you look at that? Mind if I have a taste? Uh... A bit better for me. Sorry, it's their first cup. be interested in my book would you like to read it I would like to read it <laughs> just picks me up the dawn of the space age it was written by humans long long ago I've always enjoyed these older stories they have an earnestness an adventurous spirit that speaks to me excuse me 
says the guy who's practically terrified of his own shadow. It must sound strange to you, seeing as how you were born on this ship, so to speak. I think you should learn as much as you can. Expand your horizons. Take a look around the ship and see if anything interests you. Don't just rely on humans to teach you, either. Experiment. Try to do things on your own. Yeah, good idea. Touch me! Jesus. Please. Th there's no need to get so upset. You people have no idea what these things are capable of. But I do. I've seen it. Uh, I don't know about any of that. But I'm sure it's got nothing to do with this one. It's the captain. I apologize for keeping you all waiting. Matters with our contacts on Earth demanded my full attention. So, what is the status of our crew? Everyone is present and accounted for, sir. Good. Good. Wait. What is that thing over there? Ah, that would be the robot I've been working on, sir. Cube. Fully operational, I see. You'll have to permit me a closer look later. Right, then. Everything appears to be in order, so... That will be all. <laughs> Alpha briefing, huh? But most of the time gaming and waiting for it to begin and end just like that. You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Oh, Kato, if you want to get a look, come down to the cargo hold. At the behemoth? Of course! That'd be wonderful! Ah, but first I need to perform a brief inspection of the main computer. I'll head downstairs afterwards. Ah, you must be wondering. This is a transport freighter. And as usual, we've been tasked with making a delivery. Anyway, if you like, you can use the elevator to come and join me. The main computer is on level 3, and the cargo hold is on level 1. I think you can play this, can't you? Captain Square. You can interact with the arcade machine in the recreation room to play Captain Square play the Captain Square retro video game. Let's play it. I don't remember what it was. I think it's just a shooting game. Mercury. Oh, right. During battle as Captain Square, you can select Quick Game to stop playing and resume the story of, Kagito, of Kagato Ergo Sum. Oh, he's going to interrupt it. Oh, maybe not.
Tachyon Sword. Whoops. Oh, I still hit him. Next stage, Venus. Oh, God. Pion bomb. I can interrupt no. it. Yeah. I guess I heal when I use that. Oh, I should interrupt that. Oh, it didn't interrupt it. I need to move away. Too late. another pion bomb. Actually, no, I missed last time. Because no. it got interrupted. That's right. We're going to not do that then. <laughs> Tachyons. Or no, cork sword. Space Phage. Hey. Stage clear. Earth. Why are there just flame things? One of them is ice, the other one is fire. Is it just resistant to everything? That's the best I can do. No. So missed. I'm gonna die. No. Yeah. Damn. Alright, well, I've had my fun. Let's go. Actually, before we go, let's explore a little bit. If 
whose room is this? Oh, so this is the cryo room again. I don't think I need to be in here. I think this is Kato's room. No, it's that. I want to see other people's rooms. Because I know that there's some story stuff. Yeah. So the stuff on the, on the left side of the ship are other people's rooms. See you later. Oh, excuse me. Private quarters. Occupant Rachel Klein. Entry to private quarters is subject to approval by Rachel. To proceed, please input your name. Cube. Profile confirmed. Rachel has granted you access. Hmm? Ah, it's you. I'm glad you came to see me, but this is bad timing. I've got to head to the bridge right away. You're welcome to come with and watch me work, though. Okay. Holographic photo frame. A golden-haired woman clings to the arm of a familiar-looking man. So I think she and Kirk are dating. A message is displayed on the screen. Draft. Hey, Mom. Hope you're doing well. I'm planning on... Next time I visit, I was thinking of bringing... I met a guy. The unfinished unsent message ends. Local network message 01. Kirk Wells. Hey, got time to talk? Meet me on the bridge at 0330. Local network message 2. Sender. Kirk Wells. Thanks for earlier. I'm happy you feel the same. Can't wait to get back to Earth and take that trip together. So they must have been date. They must have started dating on the ship. An adorable toy reminiscent of a Terran bear. A red ribbon is tied around its neck. Uh oh. What are you up to now? Shit. So we registered you, a robot, as an official member of the crew. Well, know that if I so, if you so much as look at me the wrong way, I'll slag you on the spot. You are a clank and nothing more. Why he persists in treating you like a human, I do not know. Jeez. Whose room is this? Oh, that's the captain's quarters. Kirk Wells. You do not have access to these private quarters. Fair enough. Oh, there's no room over here. Alright, well, I think that's everybody's room. There's the duty module, the wellness module, relaxation module... The recreation room, private quarters, Kado, and reserve module. And that's uh, the sergeants. Alright, 
Well, I guess we just head downstairs or down the elevator. Level one. Maybe I went the wrong way. Where does he want me to go? Wow. Oh. It's magnificent, isn't it? Kirk wasn't even interested in taking a look. He seemed almost offended at the suggestion. It's in our nature, I fear. The tendency to be unwilling or unable to acknowledge the other. Kirk is who he is, and I respect that, but I don't think I'll ever be at ease with people like him. Strong, bold men. Men who conquered space and paved the way for others to follow. It's not just Kirk, though. Lately, I've been struggling to relate to Rachel, too. Maybe it's just me. You and Kirk are complete opposites, yet you seem to get along well enough. <sighs> what? Is that you, little one? Come inside and take a look. Whoa. This is the priceless cargo we're transporting. Beautiful, don't you think? That thing is gonna break free, and that's gonna be the f boss we have to fight. So long as you admire it from a distance, even the most exquisite rose handled without care will bleed you with its thorns. And this particular rose has two massive ones, in case you haven't noticed. Oh, I noticed. Can you two come to the bridge? Something wrong? Got some comms trouble by the look of it. I could use a hand here. Double time, Huey. Warp speed. Look all you like. I don't care. But do remember that this is military property. My responsibility. And I do not take it lightly. Y yes of course. We were just leaving, actually. Kato, there's a section of wiring just outside the cargo hold I need you to check for me. Understood. You again. I better not catch you fiddling with that console. Okay. Is there anything else I can examine around here? Probably not. I think that was it. Yeah, not really. Oh, that's just the console. Level. Th we need to go to the bridge. Where's the bridge? I think that's at level three. Bridge. Yeah, that's where we need to go. Excuse me. Way to 
the front. And you checked the sub antennas? I did, and they're fine. It's a Watanabe hypercaster, made in Japan and everything. The main and sub units are designed to function independently, so one going down shouldn't necessarily affect the other. I can't put my finger on it. I've seen all kinds of problems before, but this is different. We're receiving inbound transmissions without issue, but outbound transmissions are another story. Great. Just PG. What did the captain have to say? Continue your investigation and get back to me when you have more information. We'll settle on a plan then. <laughs> Wait and see, huh? The whole system could fail before he's ready to take action. What a horrible thought. The system has already effectively failed if we can only receive transmissions from Earth. As it stands, we can no longer exchange information with them. We can only hope they have surmised our situation from our silence. <sighs> Sounds like an excuse to do nothing. I'm heading outside to perform an on-site inspection of the array. Something probably came loose or got knocked out of position. Should be easy to fix once I get a good look at it. There's no talking him out of it now. So we may as well try and back him up. Are you up for a spacewalk, Kato? Yes, of course. Rachel, I'll go with him to the airlock to assist with preparations. I'll come back afterwards so we can monitor from the bridge. Makes sense. Are you good? So close to home. So close. The last thing we need right now is to spend time alone together. Just the two of us. Hmm. Yes? What is it? Captain, sir, I wish to update you on the comms issue. Kirk and Kato are going to head outside and perform an on-site inspection of the array. I see. Very good. Captain, what's gotten into him? Hmm. Yeah, that was that was a weird exchange. Wait, did she have anything else to say? Or was that it? <sighs> so close. The last thing. Oh, it's the same thing. Oh no, I need to go. Uh, to the airlock? Yeah. Level one. Whoa. Stop it, please. This is neither the time nor place. Whoa, whoa, what is going on? You and your holier than thou attitude. <sighs> Stay out of it, bot. Hey. There you go again, losing your temper. Hurting others. <laughs> Got it all figured out, huh? Your problem is you can't take a joke. Always so damn serious. You're exhausting. It's a miracle Rachel humored you as long as she did. Ooh. We're leaving. 
Try not to get sucked out the hatch when we go. Be a real shame that. Are you all right? Silence. Oh, because they just opened the airlock. <laughs> oh, no, they didn't. They opened the entry to it. I'm sorry you had to see that. People are a bit more complicated than machines, don't you think? That's what it seems like. Back to the bridge. Whoops, I went the wrong way. Elevator. I guess I just didn't have anything to say. Or she didn't have anything to say. Rachel, they're in position. Understood. All right, let's get this show on the road. Commencing operation. Kato, you need to access the administrator controls. Switch the system to maintenance mode. Inputting code. Whiskey Alpha Tango Alpha November Alpha Bravo. Uh, Kirk? Kirk, do you copy? Loud and clear. Everything's fine. What's happening? Kirk? Kirk, respond! Someone talk to me! I've got him! But there's something wrong with this suit! What? We're coming in! I'll prep the med bay and meet them at the airlock. I'm coming too. I have it under control, Rachel. Don't worry. I'm sure Kirk is fine. He's as tough as they come. Stop it. Just stop it. I need to be there for him. I'll be right here. Just kidding. I'm coming too.
Level one, please. Alright. This probably isn't a bad place to uh, take a short break. Um, we'll be back in just a couple minutes, but, uh, if you are watching this over on YouTube, that is the end of this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, uh, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Uh, ring that notification bell so that you know when the next episode drops, uh, or you can support me and watch this live over at twitch.tv slash big slice gaming, where everyone else is watching. Um, otherwise we will see you in the next part.